CR who won her squad strike that turn here. And we'll be getting right into this. With Turk and Marissa's Falcon. Now, Turk is pretty strong. I don't think it, you need to be here that again. Um, Falcon is like. Falcon is pretty underlying in terms of popularity, I guess. Not really seen as like one of the extreme yes. high tiers, but he's usually not regarded as a low tier. Joku applied a lot of pressure and put him off stage early. It's good, but back on the stage now. And they're just sort of like throwing moves at each other right now. Not, not really seeing any like uh, real game plans for him at the moment. Outside of them, you know, just jumping around mostly. Our set's up online, which is up surprisingly early, like not even 40 seconds to the match. And that fair was just a steal. The game sound is lagging behind. Uh, yeah, I noticed that too, but I'm not exactly sure how to fix it. I'll tell someone when they come back. Anyways, uh, seems like. Yeah, so the Joker took the stock and our set is down again. So that's fine. Um, Falco applying some pressure. And then Joker's trying to find his footing, but he's not able to make it back onto the stage. Just, you know, game punish every time he tries to land. Back onto the stage, so back into neutral. And we'll just see to go from here. So. The kids going off on stage. And Arsene's back up again, so definitely Rigby fan is in a poor position, especially with another early kill. Kill that 87%. Now, and Joker's living on at 170. Most of Palco's straw moves will kill a kid, like in that up throw. But he still has a lot of work to catch back up, uh, being a full stock behind from now. And I think he needs to play more patiently around Arsene just because he's losing. He's just like losing a sock every time he comes up. And probably be like more careful about what moves he's selecting and not get punished as often. Uh, when you're this far behind, you definitely want to be saving on percent if you aren't um, like constantly winning neutral, for example. Just because like you want to be able to maintain any uh, lead that you have going to the next match. And as we just see, like, Joker Backer just stuffs out Falco, and CR takes the first match. So, we'll go ahead and update that. Um, what are the names? Yeah, no. Both the hosts are playing the matches right now, so won't be able to report the audio problem yet. But we are going to Fountain Dreams. Now, one of the unique things about the rule set that we're running here is that we're actually running a hazards rule set, which means that, um, first off, Smashville and Town City have moving platforms. The Smashville platform moves from uh, side to side, even going off against the ledge a little bit. And in Town City, when you get to the triplat, the platform in the middle moves up and down, which is one of the biggest differences. Um, but we are also running. Uh, I believe Fountain of Dreams, which is the only other stage that's really affected by Hazards on, if I believe. By the way, the audio is uh, a bit delayed. Yeah. Yes, I believe so. Sorry. No, you're good. Anyways, getting back into the match, he swaps the Ridley, which, you know, if he's more comfortable with Ridley, that's fine, but. This isn't exactly a choice that I would have uh, went for immediately. Let me go ahead and swap that around to you. Green skin. He already took a stock. I looked down for one second. What just happened? Did he get Gimp? For sure. But Ridley's putting some pressure off against Joker offstage. Just not really doing much when he's offstage. He's gonna keep it off the stage, um, you know, checking where he's landing and reading the rolls. Uh, but he's not doing a good job of like, you know, putting the pressure on when he's off the stage. And that counter, ooh, the tech though, gonna be bouncing back and forth here with Arson online. Uh, CR is gonna be looking for another quick kill, but it's already down quickly. <laughs> it popped up again. 
both trying to find their footing. And I think that Ridley is going to have a lot of opportunities to find a kill here. Uh, while CR is mainly going to be looking for an offstage skip or for Ursa to come back, from just what I can tell from their gameplay. Ridley's ended up back off stage. CR chases him. Not exactly keeping him off stage, but you know, they're playing around over there. Back there kills. Okay. Because not expected that. Uh, he's not, like I said, they're not really doing a great job of stay, uh, going off stage and pressuring. They're not committing hard enough. They're staying pretty close to the stage, which is fine because it always gives them uh, like a reliable way out. They can just up you back to the ledge. Be safe. So even if they aren't getting any advantage, uh, they're at least like not losing anything hard. And that is a solid again from Ridley. He's still a stock behind, so let's see if he can, you know, keep on doing the same thing here. You want to the audio? It's delayed. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure if there's a great way to fix that. Got it. We'll be fixing the audio after the match. And that down smash almost kills Joker. Uh, and his R sends back off line again, which means he's got to find, like I said, another way to try to get the kill here. And a back air will seal the deal here. Or not. That that screen right there always beats me. You never know. Like I said, one of the things that the Ridley hasn't been able to do super well, and let's say like CR's been a little bit better at this, is that Ridley's been, or they haven't been very good at pressuring people off the stage. The most that we've seen from Ridley is when he's able to fully charge his neutral B, and as you saw the one time that actually worked, they actually completely get the Joker. He's running a fine line here um, with this high percent here. And really, it's not exactly a heavyweight despite his appearances. And will that seal the deal? Yeah. And good job to CR for winning the set 2 0. There we go.